Hey folks, it's Jen, your Adult and Teen Services Coordinator here at MPL. We know that finding your next great read can be a challenge, so each week we'll release these short book talks to help introduce you to some of our new arrivals and great library reads. Vampires make a big comeback, and this week's hashtag Teen Tuesday Book Talk. First up is Spell of Dark by Caleb Rerig. August, or Augie Pfeiffer, lives in Fulton Heights where the nexus of mystical elements make it the epicenter for supernatural drama. And Augie hates living in a vampire town. But when a new and annoyingly hot vampire boy arrives in town with a cryptic message, Augie finds himself in the center of all of the drama. It seems that he may be the only one who can stop an ancient and dangerous power from returning to the earthly realm. The Fell of Dark is a hilarious and entertaining own voices novel, a fresh take on the vampire trope coupled with an LGBTQ mystery. Next up, Stephanie Meyer returns to the world of her Twilight Saga with the long-awaited companion novel, Midnight Sun. Here, Meyer retells the epic love story of Edward and Bella through Edward's eyes. We learn more about his history and how meeting Bella has been the defining struggle of his life. This novel is about profound pleasures and the devastating consequences of immortal love. It's perfect for fans who remember Twilight's initial release or for newcomers to the series. And just in case you've had too many vampires for one week, here is I Killed Zoe Spanis by Kit Frick. Anna has just arrived in the village of Heron Mills for a summertime nannying gig, but what she finds is a community on edge after the disappearance of a local girl, Zoe Spanis, who's been missing since New Year's Eve. Anna bears an eerie resemblance to Zoe, and her mere presence in the town stirs up these still raw feelings about the unsolved case. As Anna delves deeper into the case, she becomes convinced that the two girls are linked and she thinks she knows what happened to Zoe. Fast forward two months and Zoe's body has been found and Anna's been charged with manslaughter. But Anna's confession is riddled with holes and Martina, the teen host of the local Missing Zoe podcast, feels like there's more to the story. Did Anna really kill Zoe? And if not, can Martina and the podcast uncover the truth? Inspired by Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca, I Killed Zoe Spanis is a gripping thriller filled with plot twists and dual timelines. There's still time to register, participate, and win great prizes in our TV Summer Reading Club for ages 0 to 18. Visit our website to register. All teen participants 12 and over will be entered into a grand prize draw to win a Visa gift card worth $50. The library is now open to the public with modified service and hours. Visit our website for a full list of details, including our health and safety protocols. Whether you choose our in-person grab-and-go or curbside service, you can visit us online via our website using the free Simcoe County Libraries app or by calling 705-526-4216 to place holds on any of the books I've mentioned here or any in the library. You can also return your books to the library 24-7 either using the book drop or the front desk. That's it for this week's edition of the Hashtag Teen Tuesday Book Talk. Take care. Have a great week.